and disciples. A bunch of amateurs playing dress up. Careful out there. The park's a pretty dangerous place. I found all of the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter. Great. Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka-Cola merchandise as long as I have would get this one pretty fast. The letters definitely spell refreshing. It's simpler than I was expecting. Hey, you. So how do we use this code? This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the 10 numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. Hi, Sierra. Search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. Why bother? That's just garbage. I'd toss it. I could have been here before the war. You know, just to see what it was like. is like walking through history. That's it. Formula would be hidden somewhere. No way Brad Burton would leave it out in the open. Hey, Sierra. Search carefully. What we're looking for might not be easy to find. Just look at this place. Look at that. Mr. Brad Burton, you were one sneaky devil. goes.
Sierra. I just knew there'd be a secret elevator here. This is so exciting. Going down. Look. Interesting. Come on. What on earth? Wait. No. It can't be. That's John Caleb Bradburton. Or at least it's his head. Wow. Who, who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. My God, it's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything. This is such an honor. You there, with the pit boy What are you doing here? We used the contest code to get in? What the hell happened to you? I made a devil's bargain. Though I didn't know it at the time. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. Who was General Braxton? He was one of the top men in the Army Research Laboratory's Weapons and Materials Division. He'd taken a keen interest in my quantum mechanics research and offered me a trade. In exchange for my assistance on a top secret weapons project, he gave me access to an experimental process that would artificially extend my life. Like a fool, I leapt before I looked. I've certainly paid the price for my short-sightedness. A... Uh, a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them on one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No!
Yeah. If our places were reversed, I'd probably want the same thing. Then I trust you will honor my wish. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Brad Burden wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. If he lives, I don't get the prototype ammo. What can you offer to make this worth my while? Well, uh, I do have one thing that might interest you. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but... Well... I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? Ha! That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours. But I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka-Cola? So, have you made up your mind? What about Sierra's offer to keep you company? Wouldn't that help? I admit I'm flattered by her admiration. But I'm so tired. In ways that words could not explain. I've lived far too long already. And I'm prepared to move on. I await your decision. I... Uh, I haven't decided yet. I see. I can only hope your sense of compassion compels you to do the right thing. I've been a prisoner long enough. Can you imagine being trapped like that for centuries? Leave that junk behind. You're just wasting space. Please, think carefully. Don't rush your decision. I sort of feel sorry for him. Hey, Sierra. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what's your decision? What about the secret Nuka-Cola formula you think is locked up in that vault? That was before we found John Caleb Bradburton in the flesh. Well, mostly. Who knows? Maybe he'll tell me the Nuka-Cola formula himself, along with all kinds of other things. <laughs> that would be incredible. Please, tell me that you'll let him live. I'm still thinking about it. Just 
Please think carefully. If you shut off the power, there's no going back or changing your mind. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka Cola? Can you imagine being trapped like that for centuries? So, have you made up your mind? I'm not shutting off the power. With Sierra to keep you company, I think you'll both be happier. What? Will you not respect the wishes of a man who has suffered the way I have? Please, I beg you to reconsider. Please, think carefully. Don't rush your decision. Hi, Sierra. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what's your decision? I'll accept your offer. I won't shut the power off. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're doing the right thing! After all, this is a great man we're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a living legend to talk to. Good luck running Nuka World! Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a puppy full of caps. I commend your diligence. It can't have been easy to find your way in here. You can't know how wonderful a real conversation can be until you've gone without one for a few hundred years. I won't deny that it's nice to have some company again. Help yourself to anything that you think is useful. None of it means much to me anymore. I'm pleased to know that even now, the legacy of my work is still appreciated. Sierra has made that very clear to me. Help yourself to anything that you think is useful. None of it means much to me anymore. I'm going to see what else I can find in this place to add to my collection. Sierra? Guess I'll be heading home soon. Not much left for me here. This trip was totally worth it. I'm so glad I came here. Someday, I should write a book about all this. And before you ask, yes, you'll be a big part of the story. Hey. Yeah? Hey. Need something, lover. Your thoughts? We'd move faster if you kept your eyes on the road and off me arse. Your thoughts? If it's fun you're looking for, you found the woman of your dreams. Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. You don't have to ask me that. You just need to listen to your heart. That was all. No problem. Going up. 